The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 12. Thoughts? This episode is called Juggernaut. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. This episode is rated TV PG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah. Um, really, really gets to you with Omega. You know, yeah. By the end of the episode, you know, the tests have, you know, have been confirmed. As as Nala say, you know she she managed to slow down, but she couldn't completely prevent permanently. You know the Empire now knows that Omega. You know she, yeah I forget the words they use, but they can use her to clone. You know she is she is the somehow and somehow Palpatine returned. And, you know, I really appreciate Dr. Carr hesitating. And I think that might be about what I have to say about that aspect of it. So, yeah, um, the rest of the Bad Batch going on the, the mission, so cool, great action. Just, yeah, really, really incredible stuff with the you know, driving the tank, taking on another tank, and, you know, jumping from the top of the tank onto Fee's transport at the end. Really, really tense. So cool. And the, the yeah, Rampart, you know, when he points out, you know, the, the what can they, you know, the... Once they've taken over the transport, he's like, what do you have to threaten me with? You know, and it's it's true. Let's hypothetically say they're like, okay, fine, we'll just leave you here. So that's status that's a status quo you know, intact. That's that's nothing to him, you know. So the the either they they offer him an improvement of status or they have nothing, you know, why would he, because, like, I, I get the sense that he still agrees with the Empire, you know, he's frustrated they, they arrested him and this whole thing, but he's still an Imperial, they're anti-Empire, you know, so, yeah, that was, yeah, I love a, a smart villain, and, let's see, the, <laughs> I like the thing with, you know, are you here to kill me? Tempting, but no. And I also like Rampart arguing with the, the other alien, and, you know, true to his space Nazi ways, he's like, I don't understand your language, you know, not making... I suppose it's hard to learn a language in prison, but, you know. And the... let's see... I, I get the sense that he's not even trying, you know. He's like, you know, this is an Empire prison, you're supposed to speak Galactic Basic. Ah... Uh, I feel like there was something else. I did honestly think that he wasn't going to make it. Let's see. I think it was Wrecker who jumped there at the very end. I thought they were going to have a repeat of, of uh, tech, I want to say, you know, for the, the end of season two. And uh, I there's definitely something else. What was the other thing? Um... Let's see. The right, right, yeah. This thing of you know, I don't know the coordinates to Tantus. No one does, you know. But there is a way around it, you know, and that does make a lot of sense. They don't want anyone to be able to get there who isn't authorized to. And. Yeah, I, I got a real Andor vibe, which is always a good thing, from, you know, once the control room realizes there's something going on with that tank, you know, and they're like, you know, jam the, what was it? Di no, they, they said di run a di diagnostics on the on the comms, and, you know, the, the jamming came from the other sources but, but yeah you know just that that really brought me right back to to when the the empire the the local empire imperials realize you know there's something happening during the sort of eclipse thing 
and let's see the the um, Right, also really clever of them to, to you know, they're, they're like, the armor's too strong, we've got to target the wheels. You know, gonna shoot it till the wheels come off. And... I think that is... Oh, right, I appreciate, yeah, um, Fee managed to get herself into a, a beneficial situation. You know, as per usual, very nicely done there. You know, at, at the start of the episode, I mean. And that was also clever, this thing, you know, even if we had a ship, we don't know where to go. And then, you know, Crosshair is like, well, we know where to go. I, I have an idea of where to go, you know, and then, uh, but no ship. And then Fee shows up very... Very nice to that. And, and yeah, you know, what was it she says? Any friend of brown eyes is a friend of mine. You know, she's not, you know, goody two shoes, but she is loyal. And I think that might. Um, right. And also, you know, I, I do think the fact that when Crosshair says, you know, I might have an idea. The conclusion Riker jumps to is, you know, you've you known this whole time and you didn't tell, you know, and and Crosser said, I, I don't I don't mean I know personally, but I know someone who might, you know, and Hunter points out that's still, you know, a betrayal or a trust. You should have told us earlier, and you know the we see his handshake a, a little, and he says, it's, "Tensis isn't a place I ever wanted to go back to," you know. And so, so you know, it definitely appears that there is some truth to that theory that, you know, what something was done to him that made his hand shake and that he is aware is going to lead to, to more. You know, so it's personal trauma, but also the, the weight of realizing, you know, the, the, the greater threat. Right, um, yeah, I liked this, let's see, the, yes, I will just briefly say, so there are now only three episodes left, yeah, um, really, really psyched, and so yeah, three more weeks of, and then the, the show is over, that's, yeah, I, I, honestly, I have faith in them that they'll be able to finish it off in a satisfying manner. Not enough shows plan their endings. Uh, but yeah, I will do the the episode next week as soon as I, as, you know, as soon after it premieres as I at all can, and I will close with, I always love a good gag of, you know, People being like, oh, you know, I, I wish something would happen around here. And then something does. And they're like, you know what, on second thought, which, you know, we're, well, looks like it was another, you know, uneventful shift. I sure hope something exciting happens next watch. And then in come Wrecker and Hunter. And you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs>